we believe that using international relations literature and approaches, you can have five key contributions to managing the outbreak going forward. So the first of these is it allows comparative analyses between governments. Why are we seeing different responses to the outbreak in different countries? And that's a lot to do with the way that structures are set up, uh, who's in power, and how civil society and government relations work together. We can also see how outbreaks are governed. Who's working at the global level? Who's working with other organizations? Who's going it alone? And that tells you something quite interesting as well for how to plan for these outbreaks. We can also look at who's paying for the response and how they, how they then wield that power and authority over what kind of response it looks like. We can look at the um, human rights questions and the downstream effects of this outbreak. Is the outbreak being responded to in a way that everyone has a equal opportunity to benefit from the interventions? Or are some groups being actually penalized by the intervention because they are a very broad brush neutral approach to uh, policy making that doesn't recognize the differential communities who might be at risk either of infection or of the economic and socioeconomic effects. And then it allows us to look at the gendered effects as well. How is this outbreak disproportionately affecting men from a from the standpoint of infection, but women from a standpoint of the socioeconomic consequences? So we believe that using political analysis and using international relations, we can actually engage in a much more fruitful dialogue between the WHO and government and between governments themselves to really work together to make a much more cooperative approach to uh, ending the coronavirus in a way which recognizes the political constraints that governments face and not trying to pretend that this public, this public health crisis is simply one of public health. We fundamentally believe that we need to engage with the politics to be able to push through this deadlock we're currently in.